Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a little bit more home related minimalism decluttering organization kind of stuff. I've actually been getting a lot of requests to do my perfume declutters again even though I said I wasn't going to do them for a year. Comment down below and let me know if a premature declutter is something you would like to see because I do have a couple that I feel are actually on the fence and I am pretty sure I can get rid of them. But yeah let me know down below if that's something you do want to see otherwise I will continue to wait. Um, so so today's video is going to be a Marie Kondo and organization of my dresser. I really needed to get it done. It's kind of a mess. The drawers are overflowing. I don't wear everything that's in there. I have a lot of stuff that's sitting there for really no reason. So I thought I would go through and clean it, organize it, and declutter it today and bring you guys along with me. And I really hope that today's video inspires you to do a little bit of decluttering and organizing of yourself. And yeah, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk mostly about perfume content lately but we do also do a little bit of home decor minimalism decluttering organization some fashion and other things like that so if that is something you're interested in then definitely make sure to head on down and subscribe feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram as well for more content similar to today's video and with that out of the way let's get started in this declutter so today I decided I would take you with me to do some organization and decluttering of my dresser and a little bit of Marie Kondo kind of style organizing of my dresser because it really really needs to happen I have recently gotten a few new pieces of loungewear slash pajamas that I'm in love with and I have a couple pieces that I don't wear anymore they make me feel kind of ratty and tired and gross and I just really don't like the way that I feel when I wear them also my underwear drawer is hugely a disaster and needs to be reorganized um, the bottom drawer on the right lower side there is is full of wallet boxes and like just random stuff and like duster bags things that I don't really need to be holding on to and I definitely don't need to be storing them in the bottom of my dresser I've just been putting them there for lack of a better place to put them overall it pretty much every single drawer just needs to be organized I also got a few new pairs of activewear that are on the way um, and yeah I'm really excited to get those and there's a couple pieces that I recently decluttered and I basically just need to go through and pretty much fold and overhaul everything and yeah just make sure that things fit and everything looks good and I also did a little bit of laundry so I've got like a few tops here that need to go away my socks need to go away that's a pajama shirt underneath so I thought you know what why not take you guys with me I haven't done a dresser organization and Marie Kondo for a really long time and that was actually my best performing video was when I'm recondoed my dresser so um, yeah obviously people like to see organization I thought I have to do it anyway why don't I take you guys with me it's absolutely driving me crazy every time I look in these drawers and see the mess that is in there by the way people have been commenting on my bags I do have the Dior saddle bag in the corner there which is my current obsession I'm absolutely in love with it and people have been asking me for a collection handbag collection video so that will be coming as well but yeah without too much further ado talking about anything else let's get into this dresser I'll just kind of give, give you a quick overview of what's inside the drawers how it looks right now and um, then I'm going to take everything out and recondo it one other thing that I want to show you guys is this beautiful acrylic storage rack I think it's called a storage rack I got this from Amazon every time I share a picture with this people go crazy on my Instagram asking me where I got it honestly it was such a cheap easy find this is less than $30 Canadian so it's like 25 US and I will link it down below for you guys I absolutely love it it's the perfect perfume organizer I don't have anything on it right now because I just don't want my perfumes exposed to light but sometimes I will get creative and kind of excited and put perfumes on it but um, I just think it looks really beautiful it's very minimalistic doesn't take up a lot of room and yet when you put your perfumes on it you can see all the perfumes at a glance which is really really nice and it's like a heavy-duty acrylic thing so I'll definitely link that down below because I had so many people um, comment and ask me uh, where I got this by the way you guys I am just sipping on some coffee here drinking coffee and organizing my house on my days off and cleaning honestly I've become such a domestic homebody but there's nothing that makes me happier than spending time at home on my days off with coffee I don't know about you guys but this is like just so good it's like my solitude and I love it okay so in the top drawer this is my underwear drawer it is kind of a mess obviously I was really really good about keeping my underwear kind of nicely organized and then over the last few weeks I've just gotten so busy with work I've worked 
so many night shifts and I kind of just got lazy and started throwing them all in there. So I will go through and organize that. And then I have a little shoe box here for my socks. Um, so I have like normal everyday socks and then I have my compression socks, which my other two pairs are on my bed. I just wash them. And then I have like a comfortable like wear around the house sports bra. It's just from Walmart. Um, but I really like those bras. They're very comfortable. So anyway, it's kind of a mess. This one obviously needs to be organized. The one below is probably the one that drives me the most crazy because it is full to the brim. And I'm a huge loungewear fanatic. As you can see, I'm wearing loungewear now. I pretty much live in loungewear when I'm at home, when I'm not working because if I'm not at work where I'm wearing scrubs, I'm either at home or at the gym. So loungewear, scrubs, and activewear are my three major clothing categories, I guess. So I need to have comfortable loungewear. I need to have loungewear that makes me feel good about myself because I do spend so much time at home in my loungewear. And I definitely have a few pieces in here that are new that I really like, like these little puppy dog shorts that I'll show you in a minute. Um, I also really like this one from Livion Rose. It's like a nice little sleep shirt. And then I have a couple other pairs that definitely are a little bit more dowdy or just don't make me feel my best for some reason or I sweat too much in them or whatever the case is. So I definitely need to go through this. This has to be completely Marie kondo I have to decide what I actually like. There's a lot of pieces in here that are really nice from an objective point of view, but I don't feel good when I wear them. So I have to be really cutthroat and actually ask myself like what actually sparks joy and get rid of whatever doesn't and hold on to whatever I actually feel good in. And this drawer just needs to not be bursting at the seams because it's driving me crazy crazy and I can't find anything. And it's also very heavy. And I don't know if you noticed, but my dresser wants to like bow in a little bit at the middle because there's so much stuff in it right now. The bottom drawer, what do I even have? Oh yeah. Okay. So my bottom drawer is stuff for work. Again, it's kind of a mess. This cardigan probably shouldn't be folded up in here. It should be hanging up downstairs or in my closet because there's just not enough room, but this is where I keep all my scrubs for work. I'm thinking of possibly putting those back hanging up in the closet. Uh, that seemed to be a little bit more functional for me and I could easily see what I had for pants and shirts and I could hang things to dry and it was just like a little bit more functional. So I think I may actually put those back in my closet and I'll show you guys when I do that. And then of course I have more scrub tops here that also need to go in there. And I just want to make my dresser lighter. I think getting rid of this stuff will make it lighter so it doesn't want to like bow. And this is a good dresser. This was an expensive, like I think $300 dresser that I got from Amazon when I first moved in here. And it's gorgeous and I don't want to ruin it by putting, like filling the drawers so much. So that needs to be altered. What is this? Oh yeah. Okay, so this is my like bra slash like fancy, intimate, whatever drawer. I do have a lot of bras. This is probably the most organized drawer in the whole dresser because this is just how I put my bras when I put them away. So it just makes sense and they just stay there. They stay very organized, but I will go through and reorganize it and color code it and stuff like that because I do like things to be color coded. And then I have way too many of these. We'll go through that. Um, and then this is like matching underwear. So I do keep kind of my everyday underwear here and my more like fun, fancy, like intimate occasions, date nights. Underneath that is my activewear drawer. This one is not too bad, but I recently did go through it and I returned a couple of items. Um, actually, I think just one item I returned to Amazon. I had recently gotten it and I realized that it didn't have enough support, so I did return it, but I kept a few other pairs and it just needs to be folded better. And yeah, so I'll take you guys through that. Pretty much everything in here I'm keeping. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in there I wanna get rid of. And then the bottom drawer is what really, like, this is such a disaster. So I have, like, bags from gifts that I've received. I have a Louis Vuitton box from a wallet. I have like duster bags, which is ridiculous. Like why do I have so many duster bags? I also have um, bikinis. I have a box of clothing that there's a shirt in here that I wanted to return and I think it's past the return policy so I can't do that anymore. And I also have a people's jewelry box randomly. It's just very random and it's not very organized and really needs to be organized. So. Um, yeah, a lot of this stuff is just going to come right out. I'm not even going to keep most of it. I don't know why I'm holding on to a lot of stuff that's in there, but this is not me. Like, 
I am not this messy person. This is just from life, you know, things get messy. So that is what we're gonna tackle today. So that was the before, and let's just start from the very top drawer and work our way down. Actually, so I think the easiest thing is going to be for me to take this stuff out and hang it up in the closet, and then this drawer will be completely empty. So why don't I just go ahead and take it out? I also cannot see what's in here. That's part of the problem. Um, so then I end up just reaching for whatever's on top, and the clothing ends up having wrinkles in it, and I don't like that. So I'm just gonna take it all out and put it all in the closet. is the closet right now. It's fairly full with perfumes, handbags, and shoes. I can probably stand to maybe do a shoe declutter. I don't really know. I love all my shoes, but I'm not going to tackle that today. I will take you guys through and do a shoe collection and slash like maybe Marie Kondo my shoes. I think there's like one or two pairs that I don't really ever wear or I don't really love them, but for the most part, I like and wear all my shoes. Anyway, so in the back in the far corner, that was where I had my scrubs and for some reason I moved them out thinking that I wanted to open up the closet space and make it look a little bit more bright, but it just makes way more sense to have my clothing hanging up. So I think the goal is going to be organization over, you know, keeping it open. So I did just grab a few more hangers from the spare room and I'm going to start hanging up my work clothes. So I do have all my clothes back up in the closet here for my work and this is just so much more user friendly for me. People always ask me, um, they always comment about how the fact that I only have white scrubs and I always tell people the reason I only have white scrubs and I've been doing this for years is because A, it makes it so much easier to get dressed in the morning. I never have decision fatigue. I never have to think, does this color flatter me today or do I feel good in these scrubs today? I just have one go-to brand which is the Dickies Stretch, I guess and yeah they're just like a white dickies top and they're my absolute favorite they've got pockets in the front and i just have like literally i think four or five of them four of them and then i have one kind of random one here that has a really cute faux leather thing around the neck it's like peplum style but i don't wear that one very often and then i have all the exact same pants and then same thing with my undershirts my t-shirts i have just four or five of the exact same top and they just work so this way it just makes it so much easier to get dressed in the morning i don't have to think i literally have a uniform and that just makes my life so much easier so the next thing i'm gonna do is the underwear and socks and i don't really think i have to declutter anything i'm pretty sure i wear all the underwear that's in here i don't think there's any that are you know too full of holes or anything like that you know how sometimes the lace will like get a hole in it or whatever pretty sure all my underwear is in pretty good repair they just need to be folded um, and then the socks, really not much going on with the socks, but I will completely refold this drawer as well. And I should probably put the bra in a different drawer because this is not a bra drawer. So I'll just toss that to the side for now.
how I've organized my socks, nothing fancy, and I know that this is not exactly Marie Kondo style, she would fold her socks. I do not have the time or the energy or the desire to go through and fold my socks. I wear a lot of like little ankle socks that barely even come up over my heel, and they just don't fold very well. And so I've got a few pairs of them that I pretty much wear around the house all the time. I'm not picky, I get them from H&M. And then I have a couple of these little like, I don't know what you call them, ballet socks or like foot sockies, I don't know what you call them, um, that you use when you're wearing like ballet slippers or something where you don't want your sock to show. And I rarely, rarely, rarely ever use these, but when I do need a pair, they really come in handy. So I have two pairs of them. And then I've got my three pairs of compression socks. So these are currently the only three compression socks that actually work for me. Um, these ones I got from Amazon. I don't really like the colors, like whatever. I'm not picky about the color. I just like compression. And these ones are really comfortable and they have like some good stretch in them. And I really don't like when compression socks dig in behind your knees and these ones don't. And then these ones as well, these are amazing. They're from a brand called Sockwell. If you're looking for really good compression socks that don't dig in behind your knees, and they're so comfortable um, and they're just like really really soft yeah I will link it down below it is from a brand as you can see called Sockwell and I just got them and they're amazing so I have them in two colors I have the ones with like the little coffee cups on them and I have just the plain pink and yeah so that's not like a huge difference from what they looked like before but at least they are kind of organized So now moving on to the underwear. I don't actually fold my underwear. I used to do that. It takes up a lot of time. What I find works best for me now is I just lie them flat one on top of the other and I just put the bigger ones on the bottom like the briefs and then I move up to the thongs on the top and I find this is just the easiest way for me to fold them and I can actually stick to it and it actually looks really really good in the drawer. Alright so as you can see this is my preferred way of folding my underwear. It's not really folded but it is laid out in such a way that I can see everything I have. I know exactly what's here. And as you can see, I also have a favorite type of underwear. <laughs> Pretty much exactly the same thing. They're all cotton with a lace top. So they are like quite pretty and feminine and kind of sexy, which I like, but they're also extremely, extremely comfortable. And I either get my underwear from Victoria's Secret or La Senza. I'm not really picky. Um, and then I also have just like briefs, um, bikini briefs. And that's what I pretty much live in when I'm at home and wear those to bed and stuff like that. And then for everyday wear, I wear these ones. And then I wear my more like fancy ones if I'm being fancy. And I did find a pair of fancy underwear in with the regular underwear, so I'm gonna put this in with the fancy underwear drawer. All right, drawer number one is done. Let me take out all of this stuff and organize this. First of all, I see these things sitting here. These are those cups that come with like active wear. Um, do I need them? Probably not. Will I ever use them? Probably not. I do like to keep a couple on hand because sometimes I do have that odd like sports bra that is a little bit showy and I don't want, you know, anything showing. So it is nice to have a couple covers here, like just to slip in, but I don't need like six of them. So I'm just gonna keep the two that I had and I'm going to get rid of these ones. So these ones I am attempting to fold a little bit just for the sake of making them look a little bit prettier and again I'm just going to roll them because rolling works the easiest and honestly if you've ever tried folding a thong they don't really stay folded all that well. So yeah this method just works really good for me.
right, so as you can see, I did attempt to fold my nice underwear a little bit. I basically just rolled them up, which I think is a really easy way to fold because let's face it, thong underwear, how are you supposed to fold it? It doesn't fold very easily. And then I kept my little two things for inside my sports bras. And then I also have a few pairs of stockings. And then I have a couple of like bralette tops, I guess. And this one here, where is it? This one here is also a bralette top. And I actually use that like underneath sheer shirts when I go out or whatever. Um, it looks really nice, but yeah, I guess it's got a little bit more form to it. So I did put it with my regular bras, but it really doesn't look much different than how I had it before, but at least now it is kind of color coordinated. Honestly, I need to get a couple new bra and underwear sets and get rid of a couple because there's a few in here that I haven't worn in a really long time, but yeah, that's what I have right now. I've got a few like neutral ones. I have one white one. I have one black one in the back and then all the others are just like really cute lacy ones. So that is the bra drawer. Okay, so now to tackle the pajamas slash loungewear. I'm not gonna be too harsh on myself with this because like I said, I pretty much live in loungewear. So I'm okay having um, lots of loungewear. So I'm not like trying to declutter it. I just wanna get rid of ones that I don't feel good in. And I think I'm gonna try to separate it into like sort of my more feminine, like pretty things when I just wanna feel like kind of glamorous. Um, I wear these when I go on vacation with my boyfriend and stuff like that because you know, I wanna put my best foot forward and feel a little bit more luxurious at those times. Um, but when I'm just kind of bumming around at home, I wear a lot of like cotton items. So I think I'm going to, first of all, go through and do basically like Marie Kondo style, what sparks joy. As cliche as it sounds, it's true. Like looking at this pile, I can see what my favorites are and I can see what I don't love. And then I'm gonna organize it into like more fancy versus more casual. And then I'm going to fold them and put them away. So starting with this piece here, this is from Victoria's Secret. I really like this one. I haven't worn it a whole lot, but I do really like it and I think I just have to have it you know where I can see it so that I'll actually put it on so this definitely I'm going to keep and that's a fancier one this one here I have worn a few times and I really like it definitely going to keep that one makes me feel very luxurious I also have a matching robe with it so yeah I will definitely keep this I do wear this when I again when I want to feel a little bit more luxurious so I'll keep that this one here isn't what I would call super luxurious but it's definitely not like a comfortable lounge outfit. I only wear this when I want to be a little bit more kind of sexy. Like I'm not walking around the house wearing this, you know? Um, so this one I will put with my fancy stuff. I also have this set that I just got from uh, Dynamite actually. Absolutely obsessed with these pants. And it does have a matching shirt somewhere. It has a matching bralette so cute you guys i absolutely love it and then it has also a matching tank top which i'm having a hard time getting on camera but basically this set i love it 100 percent haven't even had a chance to wear it yet but i'm keeping that for sure all right now for the casual stuff this is a new sleep shirt that i just got it's cotton it is so comfortable i have i love like the three buttons at the top and it's from orb and this is actually from a local underwear store slash pajama store so i'm definitely keeping this i got it um in a small and an extra small and i loved it so much that i got two of them and here is the extra small one they both fit me just one of them is a little bit more loose but i like them both and when you find something you love i think you should always get two of them because you won't be able to find it again okay this one honestly i'm so i'm so like on the fence about this one it makes me feel like a complete bum when i wear it and i do not like feeling like a bum so i'm actually going to um donate this one i've had it for quite a while it's from victoria's secret you can see that the sleeves are like falling apart and yeah they just they're like permanently stained it's very scratchy it's not comfortable anymore definitely going to donate that this one here is like a chenille type of loungewear from Livion Rose and I do really like it but it is so hot I just sweat in it and I also don't like how thick the neckline is it doesn't look that good on me um, so I'm going to donate this even though it's brand new unfortunately and with that will go the pants unfortunately I don't know I really like the pants I wonder if I could get a top you know if i could find a top that matched the pants it would be okay so i think maybe i'll actually keep the pants the pants are really cute um 
yeah, I just need like a white t-shirt or something to wear with them and we're perfectly fine. So actually I will keep the pants. Then we have these like fleece lounge pants that I just got from HomeSense. They're so comfortable. I've had them forever. They're like pilling like crazy, but I love them. They're so comfy and yeah, they're great. So I'm definitely gonna keep those. This super cute sweater that I actually got from H&M, I believe. Yeah, I got it from H&M. It's brand new. It's kind of like a, it's almost like a cropped sweater, but not really cropped. It's so comfortable and so warm and I really like the colors and I think that the top, the front is really cute. So I'm definitely gonna keep that, that's brand new. Then I have this sleep shirt from Livion Rose and it's just like a long sleeve purple sleep shirt with some buttons down the front. It's got a crew neck. This is like my ideal sleep thing. If I can ever find a long sleeve crew neck sleep shirt, I get them because they're my favorite and it's also 100% cotton. So it is so comfortable. I just love it. So we are definitely going to keep that. Then I got these really cute little puppy dog shorts. They are brand new and it came with this shirt that says, wake up, drink coffee and pet all the dogs. And this is so cute. I love it. Um, it was kind of expensive, but it's a little bit more luxurious fabric. I really, really like it. And I got it from our local loungewear store and I'm obsessed and I really want to wear it. So going to be keeping that for sure. And then I got these pants. The pants are from the same store. They're brand new. They are so comfortable and they go really nicely with the top. So I will be keeping those. Then I have this long sleeve sleep shirt and it's not my absolute favorite. Where did I get it? I got this from Winners or Home Sense, something like that. Marshalls, I guess. And I like it. It doesn't make me feel like too frumpy or anything. It's still in pretty good condition. It's very soft. And I do, I like to wear something like this when I'm like doing laundry, um, when everything's in the wash and I just need something comfortable to throw on. So I'll keep this as well. Now I've just gone ahead and started doing the same thing to my exercise or active wear drawer. And again, I'm just rolling them. I really like the rolling method because it makes everything nice and compact. It makes it really easy to see everything. It's very user friendly. It doesn't take a lot of time and you can see everything that's in your drawer at a glance. So yeah, thumbs up for the rolling method. Not exactly what Marie Kondo does. I know that, but it works for me. <laughs> I'm just going through this bottom drawer and this is the one where I have all the random odds and ends and boxes and bathing suits and jewelry boxes and everything else that I don't really need in here and I'm just going to go through and decide what I want to keep what can be tossed and what I'm going to keep in this drawer and fold and organize <music>
right, so this is the stuff I managed to declutter from that bottom drawer that just had a ton of stuff in it. I just had like a couple of old duster bags. Honestly, you guys, I don't even know which duster bags go with what, and I really doubt that I'm gonna need a lot of them again. So I'm just going to get rid of a lot of them. And I also have this box. I was gonna return a shirt, and now it's way past its return um, period, so I'm just gonna donate the shirt and recycle the box. And I am going to keep a few of my dust bags here, um, just in case I need them. I do have a box in my other closet where I keep a whole bunch of dust bags. I think I'm just gonna put them in there. I don't really often use my dust bags, but in case I ever wanna sell one of my handbags or if I'm traveling or something like that, they do come in handy. So I will keep some of my better dust bags. I think there's also a strap for one of my bags in there. And then all those ones I'm going to get rid of. So now that it's all done, it honestly looks and feels so much better. You guys, let me give you a quick overview of what I've done just a quick recap. So I've already kind of shown you the underwear drawer. So that's how the underwear drawer looks. Very organized. And this is actually pretty easy to maintain because it doesn't take long to like stack your underwear. So that's okay. The bra drawer, I did end up deciding to put my little sports bra in the front, the one that I kind of wear all the time at home because if this is a bra drawer, let's keep it a bra drawer. So if I have another sports bra, I'm wearing my other one, I only have two. Um, these are kind of like my bumming around the house bras, but if I have another one, I'll just put it there. Um, and then I just put my little, um, what do you call it? What are those bralettes in the front? And yeah, that looks pretty organized. This is the gym clothing drawer. So much better. This shirt here still has a tag on it. It's from Lululemon. It's because I have a couple other pieces from Lulu coming and I just want to make sure that I don't like one of them better than this before I take the tag off. Um, so I'll probably end up keeping that. And then I have a few pieces from Amazon. Actually, all of these are from Amazon except for that set, which is from Viri. Um, and I will do a activewear try on haul for you guys and show you some of my favorite places to get activewear and all that kind of stuff. And these are all the Lululemon Align Pant. I know it's a lot. I literally have one, two, three, four, five, but some of them are like more capri, some of them are full length. Um, they're like slightly different. And then I have like two or three of my Holy Grail ones. Then I have a couple more tops here. But anyway. That is way more organized than it was. And like I said, I do have a couple more pieces coming that might add to this drawer. This is what that bottom drawer looks like that had all that crap in it that I didn't need. So I did end up putting a couple of like bodysuits here. They're kind of like a little bit more sexy bodysuits. Should I ever want to wear them? I do wear them sometimes. I put my little people's box down here. I actually have um, just like a few odds and ends that I might need for my jewelry. So I do keep this down here. And then this is basically swimming stuff. So I have a couple of like swimsuit cover-ups and I have, I think three or four bathing suits here, maybe five bathing suits. And that's perfect. So when we do go away on vacation or we go away for the weekend or whatever, I often bring bathing suits obviously. So that's great. So much more organized and I don't have any more junk just sitting in here taking up space. This is the pajama drawer. So these are all like the comfy pajamas, um, sort of like my go-to all the time bumming around at home, wear to bed, super comfortable. Most of them are made of cotton or fleece or something like that. And obviously I have a thing for stars. I didn't realize that, but apparently I have a thing for stars and I also like neutrals. Oh my God, those have stars too. <laughs> stars everywhere. And the bottom drawer is where I have all my other sort of more fancy items. So I guess if I had like more silk pajamas or you know a little bit higher quality luxurious pieces i would put them in there but this is really nice because then i can kind of see what i have and i know exactly what every piece is and it's like super nice and organized and it's no longer bursting at the seams so my dresser is way more organized and it looks so much better so that was it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed coming along with me to do this declutter slash Marie Kondo slash organizing my dresser. I really love doing things like this and I love sharing it with you guys. I personally love watching people organize stuff around their house. I love seeing room organization and room tours and things like that. It really inspires me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed as well and I hope to see you all very soon in my next video. Bye for now.